What's the deal, family? Look, welcome back to the channel. Today we got another banger for y'all, man. So look. We got LA State Trooper finds body in trunk. Alright, simple title, man. We're gonna get straight into this one. This was brought to us by Hot Boy Jesse. Make sure to go check him out. Go subscribe over there. Go check out the videos, the uh, all the stuff he got over there. This is in Louisiana. I thought it was in L.A. at first, but I was looking at the scenery. I was like, where the hell in L.A. is this? But it's in Louisiana. All right, so on Wednesday, July 29th, 2020, shortly before shortly before 5 p.m., a Louisiana state trooper conducted a traffic stop involving a 2017 Camaro on Louisiana Highway 17 near Winsboro for a traffic violation. During the traffic stop, the trooper noticed the bullet holes in the driver's side of the vehicle. The driver gave verbal consent. The driver gave verbal consent for the trooper to search the vehicle. During the search, the trooper discovered the deceased body of 23-year-old Michael Robinson Jr. of Mo of Monroe in the trunk. Wow. Wow. Okay. Dude gets a traffic stop. There's bullet holes. He lets him search the car. Wow, there's a body inside. This sounds like the dumbest dude alive. But let's continue. Let's just see how this all transpires. Use the car. His mama reported him missing. I popped the trunk. Saw her, there's a dead body in the trunk. On July 29th, 2020, shortly before 5 p.m., a Louisiana State Trooper conducted a traffic stop involving a 2017. Chevrolet Camaro on Louisiana Highway 17 near Williamsboro, Louisiana. The vehicle was doing a 73 and a 55. Dog! Why are you driving 73 and a 55 and you got a body in the damn car? What do you think it, bro? I got a body in the car, I'm not driving. And if I gotta drive, I'm driving 10 miles below the speed limit or like, a, like 5 because you can't drive too slow either. Like I'm, I'm, I'm watching that speedometer. Like, I'm watching that speedometer. Like, like, I don't even know, bro. I'm, I'm watching that thing no hard, bro. I'm watching that thing like you watching a lot. Like you pay for the movie theaters and you watching the movie. I'm watching it like that. <laughs> like, get my money's worth. You feel me? That's crazy. Yeah, 39, region 3. Region 3 at 39. LA 17, one mile south of LA 4. Black and orange Chevy Camaro 242 Charlie Lima Tango 242 CLT Louisiana. <laughs> I ain't never. Hey, step back here with me, man. He ain't even saying nothing. He just. Hey, good afternoon. I'm Trooper Nielsen, Louisiana State Police. Mm -hmm. Reason why I stopped here was for speeding. You know how fast you're going? What's that? 73 and a 55, so it's 18 over the limit. Uh, do you have your driver's license? No, sir. Do you have a driver's license? No, sir. And why are you driving? I was just. Okay. Do you have any weapons on you? No, sir. Hey, just, it's okay. I was just asking. What's your name, man? Michael. Michael what? Mitchell. Michael Mitchell. How old are you, Michael? I'm 18. Boy, you don't got your, you don't got a license. You speeding, speeding without a license is already stupid, bro. You don't got L's. You not, If you don't got L's, you should be trying to avoid getting pulled over at all costs because you could get your vehicle towed, for one. Two, 
the fact that there's a dead body in the trunk is still crazy. Like you, so you ain't got no license either. <laughs> okay, Michael Mitchell, M I C H A E L. M I T C H. What's your date of birth? Sixteen oh two. Is anybody with you? No, sir, it's just me. You have insurance? Hey, show me your insurance. Whose car is this, man? Your big brothers. You smoking weed today? Look at me. I did early. I'm not high right now. Okay. All right, we'll take a look at you. Do you have an ID? You have any ID? Is there any? Let's say he's telling the truth and it is his big brother's car. Then that means there is a possible chance he didn't know there was a body in there, but I don't know if I believe all that yet. Weed in the car, man. Let's don't stop. Step, step here. Step here to me. Look at me, Michael. Look at, make eye contact with me. Step out here. Step up here. Is there any weed in the car? Yes or no? It's just a doobie in the ashtray, like, okay. other than it, is Anything like, else? Dizzy. All right. You be honest with me, I'll be honest with you. I ain't looking for no roach. You hear me? Yes, sir. Is there anything else in there? Yes, sir. I promise. Okay, it's in the ashtray? In that yes, cup sir. thing? Yes, sir. Anything else? Yes, sir. Okay, When's the, when did you puff last? This was Be loud. honest. Because I'm a drug recognition expert. About an hour ago. Okay. Okay, no we're gonna, we're, I'm going to look at you. But, all right, where are you headed right now? I was headed to, I was headed back home. Okay. Where's home? What's your address? No, stop, stop. Come here. Where do you live? It's easy. Yeah, like why are you taking so long to answer, answer that from this? Where do you live? Do you, you don't know how to drive to your house? I was coming from there, how I got lost. So what's the address? No. What? You don't know your address? No, sir. I'm okay, come back here. Yeah, back here. bro, come on, dog. That was the easiest question to answer. Man. All right, Just prop up on this bumper here. right here, okay? Just sit down right here, okay? All right. All right. You've admitted there's there's a small amount of marijuana in the car, and I've smelled it. It's probable cause. Can I take a look at your car? He was rolling. He was doing perfect. He was telling every. He was being so honest. And as soon as he couldn't say, he was, as soon as he said he was headed home, and then he couldn't even say his address. Now, now you're looking crazy. Now everything could be a lie. So now he gotta go search the car. He was doing so perfect, just being honest, telling the truth, giving the right answers, giving quick answers, and not looking too nervous either, to be honest. He was literally doing, he was doing everything perfect besides the fact that he was just driving hella, hella dirty, bro. He was riding mad dirty. Besides that, he was, he was passing the test with flying colors until that point. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. okay. Yes, All right. But there's nothing else in there. No weapons? Please. Nothing? Okay. It's your brother's car? Yes, it's your brother's car? Can't trust nothing he said after he lied about going home. Hey, come here. Put that, put that phone on that hood. You know, you ain't gonna sit here and be texting behind my back while I'm sitting here in this car. Get on that, get on that car. Bullet holes right there. Yeah, looks like bullet holes right there. I can't tell if that's a shadow or a bullet hole, but definitely some right there. Hey, all right, now step here. When did all this happen? When did all that happen? That happened. When? My brother, he said it. How long ago? Days? Yeah, it was, I 
Yeah, okay. Come back. Just leave this here. Come back here. Just stay right here in front of my car. Is this your wrench? All right, Michael Mitchell, 1602. Yes, sir. F 39 Region 3, I'm Co 4. north of LA-4 on LA-17. I, I got this, uh, I had a, I got a uh, orange and black Chevy Camaro stopped. I had him stopped for speeding, 73 and a 55. And it's got bullet holes all in the, in the driver's side, right by the door. Y'all ain't looking for a car in, involved in anything. It's a, comes, uh, hold on just a, let me run this date of birth. Uh, this is an 18 year old I'm out with, M uh, Mitchell, Michael Mitchell, yes sir, and uh, he don't even know where he lives, he, he won't, or he's saying he don't know where he lives, uh, well, i just making sure, I mean, he's saying, he's saying he lives mm -hmm. down here in Winsboro, but his address is coming back out of Richwood, but yeah, he, he, he don't even know his, the address down here, but like right behind the driver's side door, there's like two or three bullet holes in that thing. So he said two, two or three days ago, his brother, the is the name on the car, on the registration. Chandra Henderson. So ain't nothing ringing a bell. Henderson, something Henderson is supposed to be your brother. Okay, I'm gonna call a. I'm gonna call a guy. I mean, I'm code four. I was just seeing if y'all had this collected or anything down here. Can. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm north of four. Uh, not even to. I'm right by the golf course. All right, bye. Hey, Mr. Scooter, how are you? All right. I'm, I, I just wanted to see if y'all are working anything or looking at anything. I'm a, I'm a mile north on LA-17 over here north of Winsboro, uh, on just north of LA-4. And I got this car speeding 73 and a 55. It's a black and orange Camaro. All right, the guy, the guy's name is Michael Mitchell. He's 18 years old, uh, got no driver's license, and the car, it's a black and orange Camaro, comes back to a Chandra Henderson of Barrington Chandra. Drive in Monroe. Chandra Henderson, and that's not a brother. It's got like three bullet holes in the left side of it. The, in that Camaro, that little triangle window right behind the driver door. And right in the door jam, there's a there's a round, and there's like two address. So he's lying about a bunch of. Well, how are y'all here? Monroe, Just gonna check. Y'all aren't working anything up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay. Know? Okay. His family in Monroe is looking for him. Okay. They me out here to okay. All right. Come on. Well, I got somebody hey, pulling up behind me, Scooter. Let. All right, thank you, Bob. Who is this? Hey, now. Who you are you? I'm Anthony Robin. They don't scare me to death. 
Well, how are y'all here? Called my people from Mon that's them on the phone. What do you mean they were looking for him? They looking for him. They called me and said, hey. Okay, give me your phone. Hey, man. Oh, he said the car's missing. Stolen car, which means whoever owns the car is the dude who's missing. The dude who's missing is in the trunk. That's kind of what I was like. As the things are coming out, that's what I was suspecting, but I just didn't want to jump to the conclusion. But okay. Hey, this is good. Sir? Okay, he's not given that name. No. Okay, f first off, first off, hold up. I'm Trooper Nielsen, Louisiana State Police. What, what, okay. who am I talking to? Okay, what? His name is Michael Robinson? Yeah, it should be the owner of that car. It may be in his mom's Okay, he's not oh. given that name, though. He's, he's, he's given another name. What's your number, sir? His phone back. Yeah, I got to go back to work. Okay. He said he needs his phone back. I'll call you on, on, on a block line in a minute, okay? Okay. Okay, I'll show thank you. Okay. Hey. Thank you. All right, let me ask you something. Did you give me your right name? Yes, sir. What's your name? Michael Mitchell. Take Michael Dwayne Mitchell Jr., I swear to God. Take your, take your hat off. Take your hat off. You got plats in your head? No, sir. Okay. Where you, where do you live? Be honest to me. Monroe? Yes, Richwood. Yes, you don't live in Winsboro. Yes, Why would you try to bluff me on that? Why would you lie to me on that? Because I already knew that before this guy said something. What's up? Talk to me. You better stop lying to me right now or you're going to be in jail. I'm just going, I'm just going to my sister's house. To your sister's? So when I kept asking you where you live, you don't even know because this ain't even your house. You better get some act right in you and stop lying to me. Some act right in you and stop lying to me or I swear to God you're fixing to go to jail. Do you understand? Yes, sir. That's he said you better get some act right in you, you know what I'm saying? Boy, you go to jail with all of them, man. I'm going to get an act right up in you, man. It's one thing cops hate, man. They hate liars, man. The last Real. freaking lie you better tell me. They hate that. You just make their job What's your order. last name? Nobody who works anywhere doing anything in the world, the one thing you hate more than anything, if you work with, no matter what you do, you hate anything that makes your job harder. I don't care what type of work you do. If there is something that makes your job harder, you hate it. And for cops, the one thing that makes their job harder is lying. <laughs> like, the, you could just tell the truth, but if you lie, you just make that job way much harder, way more investigation they got to do, more time they got to put in, more effort, and now they got to figure out whether you lying or telling the truth about anything you say after that. Once they find out you lying one time, anything you say could be a lie. After that, anything you said before that could be a lie. So, they hate that. What's this Robinson last name? Michael Robinson. That's your brother. Who took the car? So you, your name Michael Mitchell. You telling me your brother is Michael Robinson? So both of y'all is Michael. <laughs> I don't think he thought about that one. Who took that car from whoever it belonged to? He gave me permission. He, Michael Robinson, gave you permission to drive this car. Yes, sir. Who gave him permission? This is what. Say with him, please. How are you? I'm good. Mr. Chad. Hold on just a sec, sir. F-39, Region 3. I've got a Franklin Parish unit out with me. I'm with Covil. Hey. All right, sir. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Hamp Ellis. Hamp Ellis? Okay. Has this uh, car been report reported missing? Okay. Who, who? Okay, let me ask you something. Has the car been reported stolen missing? Who who are you talking who are you talking to at the police department? And 
he lied to me about his last name, I mean his address and where he's from. This Hamp Ellis said that the daddy's looking at him. Some guy, pull, random guy pulls up behind me and said, hey, this guy's looking for that kid. I need to know if this car's been reported missing, stolen, and yeah. Okay. Okay. I knew he was lying to me. Uh -huh. He said he lived in Winsboro. Put that together real quick, but okay. something else ain't. He said this guy, Michael Robinson, who they're looking for, uh -huh. gave him the car. Okay, Michael Dwayne. Right. Wait, Michael Dwayne Mitchell. Okay. But Michael Robinson mm -hmm. is supposed to give him the car. So I'm trying to, let me. Hey, this some real, like, dude, this some real, like, we got to get to the bottom of this. Like, I like this, bro. I'm locked in. See if you can talk to it and see what this sister thing is. Because uh -huh. he, he said he's got the GPS on his phone on the on the back lid. Uh -huh. He said that's where he's going. And I knew he was lying then. Hey. This boy by another boy who's been reported missing. And. This car has been given to this boy by another boy who's been reported missing. And and something's going on between the two of them. And I really like the fact that the cop is trying not to just be super biased, but me, I would have been like, bro, so you done killed dude, stole his car, the dude is missing, where is he at? <laughs> I would have put that together so fast, like, hold up. So you're telling me your name is Michael. You got this car from your brother who's supposed to also be Michael. So y'all both brothers, but y'all both got the same first name and different last names. There's bullet holes in the car. Somebody just randomly pulled up because that car is supposed to be Michael Robinson's car. Michael Robinson is missing, but you in his car. But I got multiple people telling me that Michael Robinson has been missing. This car is under Chandra Robinson's name. You claiming to be Michael Mitchell, you don't know where you live, you don't even live here, you live over there, but you over here saying you live over here. And where's Michael Robinson at? Can you call him? Can you contact him? You, you, you it's a wrap! Put all, put two, two, and six, and four, and one together, and guess what we got? You getting arrested. <laughs> you getting arrested tonight, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. What? It's too, it's right there in plain sight, but I appreciate, you know, there's a lot of dirty cops and a lot of crazy cops that abuse their power. He's trying to remain unbiased, and so, you know, I do respect that, but, I mean, come on, dog. It's right in front of your face, man. This boy right here said that that other boy gave him permission, but Monroe, the guy from Monroe hadn't called me yet, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to see... He said he was going to, the Franklin Parish Dispatch was going to try to confirm all this and get back with me, but um, evidently, I mean, he got the three bullet holes in it, and the boy's been reported missing. Do we need to do anything with specific with the car? Like, do we need to, I need y'all holler back, bye-bye. Hey, Chad. Like, this looks close. Like, like, bam, 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 bam. Yeah. In the boat. <laughs> See? See? What, a, what, a, what I'm being told is that the boy who gave him permission to use the car is missing. So he's lying his ass off. We go looking for the person who owns the car, find out that the, the son of the owner of the car is missing, and now we got bullet holes all in the car. It's pretty obvious, so, bro. <laughs> something's... Come on. Bad, right? The only thing he lied about was his address in Winsboro. So he don't have a driver's license. But he lied about living down here. I don't think, I don't know what he thought that was going to do. But, but he lives in Richwood. And the, the, the car is registered out of Monroe to the.
and I'm not getting these. I called Scooter Day over there. The scooter's been off. He hadn't heard nothing, but I don't know who's supposed to be calling me. They said somebody was supposed to call me. The y'all sheriff's office said somebody was calling me. Yeah. If he's if he's knows something about this boy that's missing, the bullet holes, I'd like to at least ask him. Go ask him, bro. We need good. I guess I'll do as much good contact as I can. Uh, yes, the only I just looked in the console, the center console. He had a doobie in the, the ashtray thing, but I really didn't give it a good look. Right. Right. I ain't gonna lie, this got to be the dumbest dude in the world, bro. He riding in a stolen car. That is not. It's not like it's a Honda, gray Honda Civic, bro. This is a pretty noticeable car. You can, see, especially with the colored stripes, like it's a pretty obvious looking car. Like it sticks out, sticks out like a sore thumb at that. So you're riding that stolen car that you know is somebody else's that got that. There's gunshots in the car and you speed it with a doobie, which is illegal in New Orleans, bro. You, <laughs> you asked for it. You you prayed on it. At this point, let's be honest. What is that? I'm gonna do the obvious thing I want to do. Hey. Yep. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands behind, behind, behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Don't move. Do you understand? Don't move. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. Wow. Have one present during any questioning. At any time you choose not to make any statements or answer any questions. You understand? If you cannot afford an, an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you by the court. Do you understand? Do you understand? Who is that? Who is that? Who is who? That's Mike. That's Mike. How did Mike get there? Tell me. It wasn't me, man. It was. Okay. I just hit him. I just hit him, bro. I did. You just hit him? I did. I did. Okay. Lock, lock this down. Lock this down. F-39 to Region 3. F-39. Get in there. Get in there. Region 3, F-39. I am 10, 15. Oh, you can't be crying now, bro. 26 is one. Uh, nobody in front, nobody behind. And I'm on, I've got my sergeant coming. I cut the car off. Okay. The key up here. Okay, that's the car his mama his mama uh, reported him missing Michael Robinson I'm at 8260 okay step out of the car my man step out of the car okay hold on everything's got to be bagged Mitchell stand here against the Bag it. Wow. Anyways, that that is insane, bro. What's more insane is the fact that this dude was in in a stolen car from a dude that you killed or helped kill, whatever it is, helped murder, while his body's in the trunk. 
while the car has bullet holes in it and you smoking weed and you don't got no license. Did I say speeding <laughs> on top of all of this? Like, bro, you literally asked for it. Now you can't start crying and say, I didn't mean to. I didn't kill him. I just hit him. You just hit him. But while you in the car riding the doobie, you ain't worried about nothing. While you rolling up, blazing up and all that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now you got to deal with the consequences, man. Either way, though. Wow, that was, that was wild, man. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, man. You guys know what you do. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Remember to keep it real. Real is rare, and real always reaches everyone. See y'all next time. Peace.